Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep, a tool designed to help maintenance and operations teams thrive. In today's video, we will be exploring the exciting world of OSHA regulations in the maintenance industry. We'll break down its key elements, discuss how it's enforced, and even provide you with some valuable resources. So if you're keen on enhancing your workplace safety, stick around. You're about to learn how to create a safer, healthier work environment for your team. Let's dive into the world of OSHA regulations for maintenance. OSHA, or the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, was established by Congress to ensure safe and healthful working conditions for all workers. They achieved this by setting and enforcing standards and providing training, outreach, education, and assistance. And guess what? Maintenance workers are among the many workers that are exposed to workplace hazards on a daily basis. OSHA is here to protect them by providing access to information for vulnerable workers in high-risk jobs. This information ranges from raising awareness of job hazards to safe chemicals, handling and promoting workplace best practices. Under OSHA law, it's not just a nice to have, it's an employer's responsibility to provide a safe and healthful workplace for its workers. OSHA safety standards cover a wide range of areas including fall protection, cotton dust, machine guarding, bloodborne pathogens, and lead. These standards apply to any industry or workplace where these hazards can be found. That includes construction sites, hospitals, machine shops, warehouses, transportation terminals, and farms. So how does maintenance fit into all this? Well, establishing a safe and healthy work environment can substantially reduce the amount and severity of workplace injuries and illnesses. A comprehensive program that includes management support, worker cooperation, hazard identification, hazard prevention, education and training, and program evaluation or improvement is key to maintaining a safe and healthful workplace. Let's break down these elements. First, we have management commitment and employee involvement. This means stating and defining clear and specific worksite policies to facilitate clear understanding of on-site personnel. It also involves top-level leadership involvement when implementing programs. Next, we have worksite analysis. This involves conducting baseline surveys for safety and health and periodic update surveys. By analyzing injury and illness data trends over time, we can help identify root causes and prevention measures. Then there's hazard prevention and control. This means establishing work practices and policies early and ensuring understanding and compliance. It's also about keeping the facility, equipment, and personal protective equipment in proper condition and planning and preparing for emergencies. Finally, there's safety and health training. This helps identify responsibilities of both management and employees to promote accountability and compliance. Educational programs should be designed to ensure understanding and awareness of hazards and proper methods of avoiding them. Now, you might be wondering, how is all this enforced? Well, carrying out OSHA's mission requires enforcement. Inspections are carried out without advance notice to employers. These can be done via telephone, on-site, or fax. Trained compliance officers inspect for imminent danger, fatalities, hospitalizations, worker complaints, specific hazards, and or follow-up inspections. Workers or representatives of workers may file complaints to OSHA when they believe there is a serious hazard in the workplace or their employer is not compliant with OSHA standards. And it's important to know that it's a violation of OSHA for an employer to retaliate against a worker that files a complaint. When inspectors find violations on site, OSHA may issue citations or fines to employers. These citations include methods that an employer may use to fix a problem and the date the corrective actions must be completed by. But don't worry, OSHA is not just about enforcement. They also provide assistance programs that aid employers in complying with regulations. These programs aim to help employers with the key elements we discussed earlier. Here are some of the resources they offer. Recommended practices for safety and health programs, free on-site safety and health consultation services for small business, cooperative programs, occupational safety and health training. So there you have it, an overview of OSHA regulations for maintenance. Remember, safety is not just a responsibility, it's a necessity. Stay safe out there. Thank you for sticking with us to the end of this video. We've covered the key elements of OSHA regulations, how they're enforced, and the resources available to help you comply. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button to stay updated on more content like this. For additional information and resources, make sure to visit our website at upkeep.com. We're dedicated to helping maintenance and operations teams thrive.
So don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions or need further assistance. Remember, safety is a necessity, not just a responsibility. Stay safe and see you in the next video.